Hi, Mark Gordon on Thursday, November 3rd, 2011 with a gold silver spider report. This is the GLD. Uh, we were up uh, over 1.5% today uh, to a new recent high here, uh, moving further past this blue solid line, which is the 50-day moving average. So lots of good strength in gold. And if you look down here, it came on a pickup in volume, uh, which is real good. Uh, this sort of gray area here uh, is the Bollinger Band. You notice how it's following that up, and that is uh, turning up uh, uh, quite nicely here. So we're in a good pattern here. Uh, if you draw a line along these previous lows, it'll give you an idea where the lower trend line is. Uh, coming in at about 168, we're at about 172 right now. So we have a nice tight little range here and an upward sloping uh, channel line uh, being formed here. So gold looking good. Uh, moving on quickly now to a, a weekly chart of the GLD. Uh, for the week, we're up 1.24 percent, and you notice that we've recovered after testing this lower trend line a couple of times. And uh, to remind you again, this trend line has been in place uh, since uh, uh, last summer of uh, 2010, and uh, so uh, came uh, came down here uh, in September, tested it, rallied back up a bit, got up above this. 20-month, uh, 20 20-week uh, 20 moving average, and then pulled back, tested it again twice, and then bounced up off it. We are following through this week with another gain, uh, moving up past this 10-week moving average. Now, one thing you'll notice is we're coming up again to the upper trend line, which has turned the market markets back uh, uh, repeatedly. Uh, we did get up above it here, of course, in the summertime, got overextended, and had a really fast correction back to the lower trend line. So uh, this is coming in at about 176, 177. So just up ahead, look for overhead resistance at the upper trend line. And moving on to the SLV, this is the silver ETF up 1.11% today um, for a new uh, 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 higher high here, uh, third in a row. Um, volume is light though. We are coming up into overhead resistance here at the 50-day moving average, which is coming in at 34.60, 34.60. And that coincides pretty much with this upper trend line uh, that I've drawn here. Uh, so silver not looking as strong as gold means that it is below the key moving averages. And they're all coming together here. Here's your uh, 100 and your 200 and your 50 all within the same general area here. So lots of overhead resistance for silver. Um, but still uh, in, a, in a little bit of an uptrend here. You can see uh, the lower lows here. Uh, that I draw. So um, support would come in in the $34 range. I'm sorry, $31 range for silver if it decides to have a very steep pullback. You might get a little resistance here. I mean, a little support here at $31.80 or $32, which is the 21 day moving average, this red line. So silver trying to make a move here. And on a weekly chart of the SLV, you can see this uh, trend channel that's developing, and you can see the overhead resistance here at these key moving averages, the blue uh, being the 10-week moving average, which is currently at 34.09. Uh, we did close the day at 33.62, so just about 45 cents up ahead uh, is some overhead resistance. If we get through that, then the next stop will be up here at these uh, longer-term uh, trend lines in the $35 area, $36 area. And quickly, quickly moving on to the uh, S&P 500, this is the SPY, up 1.82% uh, uh, today on a slight pickup in volume. Still a little bit below average volume, though, but uh, nonetheless, I'm making a nice move. Getting stopped here at the 200-day moving average, this black dotted line here. And coming up to this upper channel line, I drew this along here. Well, of course, we did get up above it here uh, um, uh, earlier in the week here. and. Um, uh, but nonetheless, it is a, an established trend line here. So re overhead resistance in this area. Uh, let's see what happens tomorrow. We might go back and challenge in these upper highs here. Um, if it does uh, want to do a pullback, support would come in at this lower trend line here at about the $123 mark. So nonetheless, the S&P 500 is trending higher. And on a positive note, it is above its uh, green dotted line, which is the 100-day moving average, and above its 50-day moving average here, the uh, blue solid line. And getting support here um, uh, by this red line, the 21-day moving average, which is uh, moving up nicely. So there is some strength uh, showing here when you look at the moving averages. And moving on now to a weekly chart of the S&P 500, the SPY, we're down for the week, uh, even with today's update, uh, down 1.83%. Uh, you can see this wide-ranging week we have here so far, and you can see the uh, resistance here at uh, this uh, black dotted line, which is the 40-week moving average. 
but nonetheless uh, in a solid uptrend here uh, as the S&P 500s uh, try to rally back up here uh, to recent uh, highs here in the $135 range. So that's just a quick gold silver spider report. See you next time.